you can remember what it was like this time of year last year, the country was in the grip of pre-World Cup hysteria. The whole nation was in a state of joyous anticipation, except for one group of women. In fact, they were so traumatized that they needed counseling. So I want you to give, please, a very warm and sympathetic welcome to the football widows. Well, ladies, we all know why we're here. Bereavement is such a terrible thing, but this type I really do feel is the worst. That's why we're gathered here today, and that's why I wanted to form this uh, support group. Because it's only by being with each other and by sharing each other's experiences can one overcome this. Agnes, dear, I'm going to start with you. How did your husband finally go? He went very slowly. <laughs> very slowly indeed. How so, Agnes? First he went by ferry to Hollyhead. <laughs> then he got a coach to London. And from there he got a flight. It was a long, drawn-out affair. It must have been very, very hard on you, Agnes. And you, Rosalind, dear, how about your situation? Well, the way I was lucky, really. <laughs> it went very quickly. We hardly knew what had happened. Was it very sudden, Rosalind? Very. He got a last-minute flight with cheapo travel. <laughs> it hasn't hit me yet. Was there even a chance to say goodbye, Rosalie? No. His last words to me were, I'm going now, love. I'm bleeding going now. Ah, <laughs> uh, he put a brave face on it, mind you. He let on to be happy. But that was the way of him, always thinking of others. <laughs> Agnes, dear, I know this is hard, but can you tell us... What kind of a man was your husband? Well, I always knew he was there, you know. <laughs> like if I was in the kitchen, I always had the knowledge of knowing that he was in there in the living room with his little feet up on the sofa looking at some important Belgian league match. No. <laughs> My fella was just the same, you know. The car fell on me, you know, when I'd be servicing it, all right? If I fell off the roof when I'd be reconnecting the cable link. <laughs> I know that if I just screamed out with the pain of the fall, Tom would have woke up like that. <laughs> and God, then what the hell is it this time, Rosie? <laughs> and they never lied. No, oh, they never no. lied, And never. my fella was going to a football match, or one of his pitch and putt trips, and he said, see you later, Raggy. He always stuck to his word and came home much shy and later. <laughs> I never had to worry, like, unless he lost his key and had to put the window through. <laughs> so considerate. Do you know, my fella used to take his shoes off before coming up the stairs, just so I wouldn't hear his footsteps. <laughs> And I never did. <laughs> now, mind you, I would hear him bouncing off the walls and the banisters. <laughs> Once or twice I heard him pissing in the wardrobe. <laughs> never did I hear his footsteps. <laughs> and of course, it's those little sayings, those little habits that won't oh, be there, no. ladies, when you go home. <laughs> Agnes, dear, could you share with us some fond memory or saying of your husband? Oh, Oh, my fella had some lovely little sayings. Change your mood in a flash. Yeah. <laughs> such as what, Agnes? Well, if I was in the kitchen, as usual, <laughs> and he'd come in from work, like, he'd just look at me. And he'd say, I get your dog, you wish me bleeding dinner? <laughs> he'd a lovely line in whip. <laughs> oh, do you know what my fella used to say? If our darling youngest woke up in the middle of the night, you know, teen pains or something like that, Tom would just turn to me in the bed and he'd say, Would you ever shut that little shagger up? <laughs> I miss that. Oh, I know, I know. Come on now, ladies, come on, up, up, up. Every cloud is a silver lining, don't you think? Why don't you join with me in some little song that will, that will lift our spirits a bit? Because there may be trouble and if those scumbags can leave and forget all their woes, let's go to the bangles. The 
Fiona and uh, all your right, Amory Dallas from the Parnassus Theatre Group. They had a hugely successful show called World Cup Me Art. So successful that they've released a cassette of it and it has shot straight into the top five of the album charts. And if you want to actually see the show live, it'll be in the Olympia Theatre for a week from May the 22nd.